All right, so today uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see if we can't get a few squirrels and uh, do a catch, cook, and clean video. And we've cooked squirrel in the past, and if you cook it right, I will say this. Squirrels are like chickens in the trees. <laughs> they <laughs> I think are, they're better than chicken. If, if you cook them right, they are really good, and they're, they're not tough like a bunch of people say and like what you hear if you – uh, cook, it cook them right and yeah cook it slow I think that's the biggest key but uh, I look at squirrel completely different now and then another way it's it's another uh, food that you can get you know just straight from the woods to the table and you don't have to uh, worry about all the processed meat and stuff like that and you, you know, know where it came from yeah you know exactly where it came from and uh, I mean you can go out and kill several squirrel in a day and just uh <laughs> Have a quick and easy lunch or supper, whatever you want to do. You can get hot wings. You can make some squirrel wings. Yeah. Hey, hey, buddy. That that is really we're gonna good. Try, we're gonna try that. Let's do that next, then. Let's do that. We let's make a few squirrel today and uh, make some hot wings. Let's make some hot wings, squirrel style. Yes, yes. Yeah, like my granddad's cooked it for me in the past, and it was always good. But I've tried it before, you know, a few times before I learned actually how to do it, and like. It wasn't something that, oh man, I want some squirrel. But once you figure out how to cook them and cook them slow and, and cook them right, I think that's work. the key. You you really need to figure out how to cook it because we did have some trial and error too to start with. Yeah. But we had heard a bunch of old timers uh, talk about how good they can be, and so we kept saying, well, maybe we're not doing something right. I and think we our... eventually got to where I think we got our uh, recipe and temperature oh, and everything. Yeah now down to key i think our so, issue was that we was cooking them too fast and too hot yeah it was too fast and too hot squirrel you really need to cook slow on low heat we'll show you how to do that in a little bit once we bag us a few squirrels so yeah uh but right now you ready? Let's, let's get to it let's see if we can't bag a few squirrels for today 12 gauge heck with 22s i'm ready to eat yeah <laughs> <laughs> 22s at home we quick and easy meal right here So what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to show you the easiest way I think is to skin a squirrel that I know of as of right now. Used to, the way my granddad taught me was that we would cut around the middle of the squirrel and then just pull both ways. That's pretty easy, but I found a different way through a friend that I'm about to show you. But first what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna dip this squirrel in some water to get that fur wet. That way the the hair doesn't spread so easily on the meat. That hair can be a, a booger to get off. Just got me a five gallon bucket right here. Let's put some water in it. Get it real good and wet. Now that he's wet, start cutting. I'm gonna need that bucket again here in a minute. So, a good sharp knife. I'm gonna start below his tail, just right around his butt. You 
and we'll cut two awful deep. You mainly just want to get under that hide for the most part, but you're going to have to cut through the tailbone. Once you get through that bone, try to cut back a little bit. Let's get some of that meat off the hide itself. That way when you pull, you're not pulling meat and all. need my bucket pour the water out now where I cut that tail at I'm gonna step on that bone I'm gonna get a pretty good grip if you can then you're gonna grab his back legs and just pull up Just peel around his arms, pull down to his wrist. Well, cut his head off. the back end off too. Get him. Bust him right in the heart. Take all them goods out. I'm gonna put them in my bucket so I can do There you go. One squirrel. Ready to wash up. Fry him up and eat him. Alright, today we are going to be frying up some squirrel. We've got our squirrel right here that's been soaking in uh, water. I've been, it's been in the refrigerator. 
about 34 degrees for about five days. It's not a long aging process, but maybe to help tender it up a little bit, or you can pressure cook it a little bit. But then I've got my, uh, got a little bit of milk to just kind of wash it with and before we dip it in the flour. And uh, we also have this uh, Ducks All water. Meat Seasoning. It's all meat seasoning produced by Ducks Waterfowl Company. It smells really good, I'm anxious to try it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a decent amount into the flour. That way when I dip it, dip the squirrel in it, so it gets on there real good. Put a little, a little bit more on there. Make sure it gets nice, good coated. Okay. There's two shakes more. <laughs> I know the ingredients says salt, black pepper, and a little bit of garlic. So you get a little bit of Oh man, there. yeah, there's garlic and pepper. <laughs> Alright. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the squirrel, we're gonna dip it in this milk first to kind of have a what you call it? A bonding agent? Yes, a bonding agent because we don't have any eggs at the moment, so we're kind of <laughs> short-handed on supplies. So uh, milk works fine. We've then, used milk before. Then you can, then you'll put it in here and cut it real good, just like with fried chicken, basically. All right, so we'll start cutting the squirrel and some milk, getting all that up real good. See it straight in there. With the flour, along with the seasoning. Juicy. It's coated real good. Even. And then, put the fryer. And you want to fry it at a, sl a lower temperature so it fries pretty slow. Yeah, what have we got to set on? On this oven, it's set on a... Uh, two. A two? I bump it up to three. Got a good pop going to it. Good, nice little slow fry. Got that cast iron skillet, too. Well, yeah, I make for the best cooking. After about five or six minutes, what you want to do is flip them over. Make sure that one side is nice and golden brown. That's when you know they're ready to flip. That's looking good. All right, so we let these cook for about six to seven minutes on each side on a low heat, and they're looking pretty done on both sides, so we're gonna go ahead and take them out and put them on the plate. All right, what the fish you want? All right, so we got the squirrel cut, and now we're about to do a taste test. Uh, I'll get these two faces. I get these two. And we'll try it first plain and then we got some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo. We'll try a piece of that too. Just see how it tastes. Ready? Oh wow. Hey buddy. Wow. I am very This tastes just like chicken. It tastes just like chicken. I mean exactly I like ain't it. no different. Wow. That <laughs> We might be on something. I really enjoyed this. That's insane. Like
This is what a granddaddy's talking about. That's not tough at all. It's not. It's great. <laughs> it's a lot better than last time we tried this. Well, last time I don't think we knew what we were doing. No. Like I said, I, I've ate squirrel a lot in the past because my father would fix it for me. And right, when we kill stuff, he'd cook it. But it was it was good. Then. That, and this is what I remember. This good. All right, now we're gonna try. I'm gonna try a little bit of fresh red. You wanna try something? Yeah. Do a little dip. Ooh, like a hot wing. Yeah. Dude, that mean. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. That's yeah, very good. That'll make me a hot wing. Molly. <laughs> it tastes just like chicken, man. I mean, just like chicken. I mean. That's insane! How much it tastes. Oh, you know the difference in this and chicken, though? A lot cheaper. This was one shotgun shell. One shotgun shell. Shotgun shell. That is good. <laughs> That's real good. That is very good. Where my shotgun at? I'm going to get another one. Yeah, probably a couple more in the yard. <laughs> ah, a little sweet tea to wash her down with. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> See, I want to split that. We'll worry about that in a minute. Alright. So the squirrel turned out. Excellent. It tastes just like chicken. It tastes just like now, chicken. Now, when did you bag the squirrel? I killed this Monday. Monday, and today is Friday. Friday. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday afternoon. Three and a half days or so. What yeah. did you do to it? All I did was put it in, in a Ziploc bag with water, a little bit of salt, just to Kind of, kind of like a little salt bath. And then I took it and I I filled me up my sink with water. That way I could push all the air out of it where yeah. it's just water in there and the squirrel. I set it in the refrigerator at about 34 degrees, you know, and just left it there. Just left it in there for three and a half days. Just left it in there for three and a half days. In the fridge. In the fridge. Not the freezer, the fridge. Okay. Now I don't know if that's long enough. To, to really say that's what made it tender, it could have been the way we cooked it. Cooking it at a lower temperature for... We did cook it at a lower temperature, frying it. For a longer period of time. Yeah, for a longer period of time. Like I said, it took about 15 minutes total or so around in there to fully cook it. Uh, and this tastes just like chicken. I mean, I, if, you, if you have to do a taste good. test between a normal chicken leg or a drumstick, a squirrel drumstick. You wouldn't know. If they were the same size, I, I couldn't. I could not tell you this much. You know what I think made it really good too? What? The stuff right here. I will say that too. Yeah, this duck seasoning. Last time That's, we didn't have this, and good we stuff. almost did the exact same thing. But uh, yeah, this duck's waterfowl all meat seasoning. This stuff is. That stuff's good. This stuff's like really that. good. We have some buffalo can, too. Don't we? We do have some buffalo. What other uh, flavors? You got like four flavors, didn't you? Got three. I got the all meat. I got the. Maybe I'm saving this right. Uh, I got the wild game. Yeah. And I got the buffalo. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So I got three of those. And so next time, you know, we might try a different. Season. Yeah. I want to try the buffalo. See what it tastes like. I think buffalo tastes really good because with the buffalo sauce. Yeah. This tasted really good. Good deal. So. Well, all right. All right. I guess that wrap, about wraps up for wraps the video. Thank you for watching. Remember and, to uh, like, share, and comment on what you thought of the video, what subscribe. we need to do next. Also, subscribe. And also, let us know in the comments what do you want to see next. Do you like these kind of videos? Do you want? What else do you want to see? If, uh, we, if, just, if you have any pointers for us of how to cook squirrel, or yeah, share your own squirrel recipes. recipes if you're you know y'all got some good squirrel recipes or any suggestion on how to cook it drop them down we'd love to hear them 
All right. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching. Peace. Today's Bible verse is going to come from Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. May God bless each and every one of you, and until next time, keep the faith and keep hunting.